Are we ready? Yeah. Si, senor. All right. Four score and seven years ago, there was the current. <laughs> and here it is. Today, on the current, it's your boy Gumby. We're here with a special guest. Introduce yourself, sir. What's up, y'all? I'm Tone. Nice to meet you. Hey, and of course we have Rache and Bella and Jelly. Welcome back, you guys, to the current where we talk about the motion of the ocean, which choppy in the waters. What's going on today? We're gonna start the topics of the day. We've got Korea on drugs. <laughs> We've got Kim Kardashian on yeah. SNL. Fall of Enter Fall of Us Entertainment Awards. Oh, U.S. Oh, excuse me. Fall of U.S. Entertainment Awards. Oh Music. man. Ooh. Uh, someone's new bills. Mm. Oh, so I said, why did Wait, I say that? Wow. Wait, <laughs> yeah, I read what? that too. I, read that too. I don't know how that happened. that happened. Dyslexia Newsom's new bills. Why did I say someone's? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm getting old. Fan, <laughs> fan stands and empty bank accounts. <laughs> Junk ah. Cook update. That's so funny. Pandora blows open. Vivica Fox claps oh, back. Shit. Okay. Let's go. Hope, <laughs> hope for Orlando. Ain't no hope for Florida. <laughs> Not at all. At all. <sighs> all right. So we're gonna start with the first one. Korea on drugs. <clears throat> back in June, former member of BTOB. What's B2B. That? Oh, B2B. Okay. Oh, is it K-pop group? Got you. Back in June, former member of B2B, Jung <laughs> Il Hoon. Was yeah. sentenced to two years in prison and a fine of 133 Korean won, uh, which is, which is oh, 130 mil, which is 120k USD. Ooh. Oof. On charges of habitual smoking of cannabis. Whoa. Wow. Really? He received this sentencing after admitting he has smoked marijuana several times after police investigation confirmed the allegations against the artist. Okay. Il Hoon had spent over 133 million or 117k USD in virtual currency. Wow. Submitted in 161 payment increments in order to purchase 820 grams of marijuana. Damn. Y'all really kept a record of my man smoking like that? Hey, let him live. What's the whole purpose of cryptocurrency? Man? Oh, that's right. On October 7th, he had his second hearing for his appeal trial in violation of the Narcotics Control Act of the 13th Criminal Division of Seoul High Court, where his legal representative delivered petitions signed by overseas fans. Come on now, because we know what's up. Jung, Jung Il-hoon reported, reportedly submitted a total of 58 letters of apology. 58! <laughs> From July to October, after <laughs> the case was handed over to the appellate or appellate court, um, on June 28th, my little brother's birthday, and an additional 20 apology statements since his first appeal case on September 2nd. This is seen as an attempt to reduce sentencing by strongly expressing the intention of self-reflection. <sighs> okay. That's sad. Damn. I hate the fact that of all the things in the world, that you're really trying to get people on, it's marijuana. Now I get it that South Korea has their standard. I get it that your country is yay big and you guys represent each other very heavily. You know what I'm saying? But unless he's like out here promoting like the goodness of marijuana. What he does in his own time should be in his own Right, time. like it's his business. Let him let him do what he do. What's what's the problem? He's not, if he ain't hurting anybody, I don't understand the problem. Sheesh. Well y'all know that Asia has a dark history with drugs. Mm -hmm. True, opium. Which is why, yeah, they're still yeah. cracking down heavily yeah. on it. Yeah, it's just unfortunate because, you know, some places have understood the benefits of marijuana and it's just like, mm. and if anybody can take getting high, it's an idol. Oh my mm. gosh, they would, I'm just saying, they would benefit so much from yeah. having access yeah. to I mean, we that. could just drink soju all day and all I, night and it's oh all good. God. I'm pretty sure less idols would commit suicide if they were able to have access to that. If they were able to have access that wasn't like demeaned. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people do do drugs, like whether it's marijuana or whatever. Yeah, but and it's, it's looked down upon. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like access where it's not, because I feel like that's not access. I feel like that's, you know, you have to hide it. You have to do this. You have to, that's not access. Right. You know, that's just doing it behind the scenes and stuff. Like, you're still, you know, they know the risk. They know that it's probably going to come back to them. You know, that's, mm -hmm. I feel like that's still, that doesn't make it accessible just because they are able to have it in their hands. 
if they had access. Like, it wasn't bad, mm -hmm. it wasn't a crime, then I'm telling you, I feel like uh, some of your idols would be here today. If y'all would just not. Personally, I'm not telling like the management of like you know BTS and such to go out and like buy pounds for no, people. No, absolutely not. I have not. to make that clear because no. some people are just like, well, what do you mean you're just saying it? Like, they no, they no. Get a medical card? no. If yes, if it's if it's something that could benefit them, if they are medically like it can help, if it you know. But they don't really care about like mental health. And that's the so. thing. That's mm, that's mm, that's mm, why mm, it's a problem, mm. and that's why a lot of y'all idols keep dying. And there's a conversation that needs to be had. And, and the, you you see where <laughs> where it goes? <laughs> Do you know? Okay. That's the conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, he has to pay um one one hundred twenty k uh and like sixty apology letters to just to get a reduced sentence. But he is going to jail. He, For sure. Yeah. When he when he went on October seventh, when he went to his second appeal, he went in a he had been in prison since. So a few days. Yeah, that's the dumbest. That's the dumbest thing. Damn. For two, two years. years. That's so stupid. Like, but you know what, y'all? I mean, it happened here. Know the law. <laughs> yeah, no. Facts. I mean, they do. Facts. They do. And be that's smarter thing, about yeah. going around it. Well, that's what sucks because their law is like, it, it's not just if you like do it in Korea. It's like if you do it anywhere. Oh, that's how yeah. it works yes. in Korea? Yes. So, yes. Because so you are a Korean citizen. Mm -hmm. If you commit anything that is against Korean crimes or Korean laws, and they no it. matter where you are, you are a criminal. Like you will get charged. Yes. 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 That's, that's crazy why crazy. it's like. Because there's somebody who, because <laughs> there's somebody who um, oh, that's who's really yeah. Yeah. right now. <laughs> Who one of his charges he had Korea. was gambling here while yeah. while he was here in Vegas. Gambling is illegal in Korea. Gambling yes. is illegal in Korea except at a particular casino and it's in a heavily tourist spot for specifically Americans who go there to gamble. Yeah. They can only gamble at that one casino. Mm -hmm. If it's anywhere outside of there, then they can't do it. That's why, as you saw, you know, as we all saw in Squid Games, why gambling is such an issue. Mm -hmm. Because they can only do like race tracks or yeah. something like that. That's but, gambling, though. But but going to but it's only specific it casinos to like and stuff. Place, yeah. yeah. To where they're just like it's okay here anywhere outside of these specific areas. So like, no shooting craps buildings? in the corner. No. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boys about to come get you. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Right. It's but not... so if they were to like come over here to Vegas where it's legal and they get caught. Mm -hmm. Still, they, yeah, still they, the charges still, can be brought up. Damn, mm -hmm. and that's shoot. why it's like yes, like know the law, but it's like yo, the law is crazy. Yeah, they can't like, like hop on a plane to Hawaii and, and smoke a blunt. Yeah, no, because if they, they get back. caught, it's still a crime. Yeah, that's really. Or you have to uh -huh. get your Korean citizen taken away. I can't. I that can't remember. I can't remember what the name of that judicial system. So is. universal law just doesn't work in their favor. Yeah, I think I think it's called that. Then I was like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's called something towards like if it's illegal in this country and you're a citizen, it's illegal for you everywhere. Right. Okay. Damn. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. there we are. Yeah. Don't yeah. get caught. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, you gotta know like, what it is. It's crazy. Super wild. Well, right. there we go. All right, let's do number two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you did that. You did this shit on purpose. <laughs> you know I don't like this bitch. <laughs> All right, Kim had that Kardashian on SNL. What the fuck she do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I heard she tried some bullshit as if she wasn't the one with the bullshit. First of all, no. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. Fake booty. Right. Mm. Oh, this is then you'll really love what she has to say. Oh, yeah, no, I can't wait. I heard, it was, I heard she was like trying to like basically out herself, like get ahead of the bullshit. It's like, no, you're like 20 years too late. Get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to hear the bullshit she spews. We mm -hmm. always talk about the bullshit, so you should be used to it by now. Mm. Ugh. Nice. It's so great exactly. to be here tonight. I know. I'm surprised to see me here like too. Elmo costume. Uh, when they asked, uh, I was like, "You want me to host? Why? Yeah, I haven't had a movie premiere in a really long time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, I only had that one movie come out, and no one told me it was even premiering. <laughs> it must have slipped my mom's mind. Yeah. That's, I'm excited to be here tonight to show you guys that I'm so much more than just a pretty face. Right. Um, but it's not even yours. With hair and great makeup and amazing boobs and Your a perfect daughter. Body. So Basically, you can't do I'm just so 
much more than that reference photo my sister showed their plastic surgeons. <laughs> that was fun. But the one thing I'm really proud of is that no one could ever call me a gold digger. Honestly, I'm not even sure how you become one. So I asked my mom's boyfriend, Corey. I guess this is great, but who wrote these jokes? Yeah, right. In life, and I know that I'm privileged, which is why I try to give back as much as I can. A real passion of mine is getting wrongly accused people out of jail. And thanks. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm following in my father's footsteps. <laughs> now, you know, my father is such an influence and inspiration to me, and I credit him with really opening up my eyes to racial injustice. It's because of him that I met my first black person. Oh my god. Want to take a stab in the dark at who it was? <laughs> I know who the fuck she's talking about. But OJ does leave a mark. Or several. Or none at all. I still don't know. <laughs> still have no idea. She is. I'm an yes, we do. So we I understand that the things that I say carry weight. But, you know, I would never tell anyone what they can or can't do. Remember, I'm a Kim, not a Karen. And honestly, she. With all of the K names, it's really impressive that my mom didn't pick Karen. I mean, somehow she just knew. I don't know how she saw that one coming and not Caitlyn. Oh. Now, now I know we're divided as a country, but I'd love America to come together. Which is why I'm here to announce that I'm running for... I'm just kidding. Guys. I'm not running for president. We can't have three failed politicians in one family. I've been very blessed in this life, and I'm grateful Well, Kanye for doesn't count because he's not in your family, all the ups, so. All the downs. That's a husband. I mean, I'm married to the best rapper of all time. That was some clever I've been photographed a lot lately. I know. I mean. Not only that, he's the richest black man in America. <laughs> and he's talented, there. legit, right, genius. Right, because they've been together. Four mm -hmm. incredible kids. <laughs> so, when I divorced him, you have to know it came down to just one thing. His personality. So, so I wait. know that sounds mean, but people keep telling me so that comedy comes enough? from truth. And I'm if there's confused. one thing that I always strive to be, it's genuine. So I just want to say how incredibly excited I am to be up here on this stage tonight. I mean, I'm so used to having 360 million followers watching my every move. I mean, how many people watch SNL? Like 10 million? So tonight, tonight is just a chill, intimate night for me. So we have a really great show for you tonight. You know what? That was actually pretty funny. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. You know, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really laugh, but you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but sure. Uh, your face, Bella, this, the entire time. I mean, I it's get like it. it. It's like it's you're trying to be a step ahead, but you, you years behind. Wait till they do, girl. Like, we've we been clowning you, your whole family, basically. Because y'all are, are clowns to me, but um, you know, what else it got to say? What 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 is there? Any that, no, that's nope. it. That was Just it. The video. Just it talking it's, about it's, the monologue. Yeah, it's it's our opinions of it. Oh, I don't really give a fuck. So, yeah, I, I'm done. It. <laughs> so whose idea was that SNL? It was SNL's idea. Oh, SNL, you can do Yeah, that's why I'm like. There's more comedians out here. You can just yeah. pick them up, you know? Just, there's more. I mean, that last bit was the truest part of it all. Like, they need more viewers, so. Right. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. They did their thing. It's marketing one Well, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, Kim Kardashian this is great. Why it's perfect. Yeah, it's great for that. It just, I, she needed a better opening, I feel like, if that was going to be the case. But, I mean, everybody likes tea and all of their drama so for most of you know the viewers i'm sure that was amazing and that was a kick you know and made them happy and was like oh my god the shade but for somebody like myself 
<laughs> I want to hear the part of the story where she doesn't undercut Ray J's influence in her life outside of the sex tape. <laughs> yeah, because outside of the sex tape, again, VH1 is all Ray J, yeah. so yeah. let's get there. Let's, we'll have that conversation in 10 years. Let's, yeah. let's get there. The Caitlyn Oh, uh, yeah, because y'all, yeah, that was fun. No, it was, was good. It, like, the things that were said, I just feel like because it came from her, like, years later, it's just kind of like, yeah. like, we, we, we know all this. So like I don't the, I don't feel a comedic effect from this because or like a, oh my it, god it was like it's yes. not juicy anymore it was like it, yes it, it was like uh, me confirming of what you yeah said. so it's okay. just like that's why I was like mm. you got to think about all the young right things, so like, so. let me confirm that everybody in my family has had plastic surgery even though y'all already know yeah we let know me, that OJ let, let me confirm that, that, that we know like that. the only reason y'all know me is because of a movie premiere that right. I didn't know about like let me confirm that. You know, I have my own money, so I'm Does not a gold not digger, this? but I really don't. Like, I'm more than a pretty fit. Look, as somebody who works with Exonerates, she has done some good work in there, but it's just like, don't use that as some sort of, oh, I'm more than just a pretty face because I do this. I was like, you Compared to all, everything that you do throughout your day, this is a very, very small percentage. Yeah. It's appreciated, but... I'm not just understand that there's you there you know there's more that you I was like you ain't the only one that's doing this exactly so that's I'm like it should right there's a whole thing called the innocence project that worked 24 7 around the clock to get innocent people out of jail like you using you're not the first to talk to to the president to get one person out yes that's good but there are people that literally break their backs Mm -hmm. to do this and they spend all their time doing this not oh, I'll do this once a few months and spend yeah. the rest of my time taking pictures of my yeah. not symmetrical ass. But also, like, that one time that she did that got so much publicity. And I was like, For the one that? time. For the one time when there's people, like Jelly's speaking on, mm-hmm. who do this all the time, who consecutively, you know, work with, you know... It's like all that... She don't use her platform to... Influence lift somebody grace. else up so i'm like if you doing that then show the real people that's doing that so they can get built up too not just oh this is what i'm doing basically it's like i'm doing this I'm for charity guys that's, this is what yeah. I'm doing. yeah so it's like nah like nah bro just like you she don't speak up when it when she needs to speak up she speaks up when it helps her career exactly. and that's that's ingenuine and that's exactly why like Probably my most disgusted face was when she said that, oh, I just want to be a genuine person. That's what what part of you, your whole body is fake. Your personality is fake. Your love is fake. Like, you do things to help your career. What part of that is genuine? There's a way to do things to help your career, but also, like, help others. There's ways to do that, and you're just not doing it. Yeah. You do it when it's convenient for a, a new story what I don't for you. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. No, no, no. What I don't understand is, after meeting OJ, your father is Bruce Caitlin. You know what I'm saying? Your mother, <laughs> your mother yeah, Sir Ma'am. Your mother is um, Chris Jenner out here. Your sisters, you know what I'm saying? Like, after all this, how does no one in your family has, like, locked down the, 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 the very real occupation of philanthropy like y'all have enough money to be like every month we should be giving a million away and we should be making enough to give a million away Mm -hmm. that's not what i hear from y'all i hear like more makeup Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i hear like you try to do things that other people can do because they're actually creative rihanna actually has plenty she's actually creative Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying that the kardashian makeup isn't the thing but at the end of the day, if this is how you truly feel, you want to help people out, like like we're saying, you want to get people out of jail, you want to do these things, you sh- it shouldn't have to be an SNL situation. It shouldn't have to be a social media situation. Uh-huh. It should be, I took a trip to Paris, and while I was out there, I visited every orphanage, and no one fucking knew unless you were yes. there. Like, make that happen. Make that happen. Let's not try to, like... You Let's know, not try to get caught for it. We don't know what Beyonce we, and right. Jay-Z doing until somebody else posts a picture about it. Oh, yeah. And then at the end of the day. Akon. Akon is yes, the yes. perfect example. Like, we, don't, we don't know what the fuck you doing unless somebody 
post it, post about thing, it, because he just over there doing shit. And my thing is, with, 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 with again, these new Gen Z kids don't see it, but because we were all born outside, play in and outside, we see it. At the end of the day, you're still the same bitch. With this money, you're still deciding to look for the approval of the niggas around you and underneath you on social media. You're not going to these places and helping these people who can appreciate it. They can't call you and see you online because they can't afford phones. Exactly. That's what you could be doing. But you're trying to get him and her and her to like your picture and to follow you on Twitter. Like, it's like, bro, like, come on. Like, how, how, how many more years of your life are you going to do this until your sons and daughters start jumping on the wave? Like, that's my thing. When your kids start jumping on this dumbass wave, then I want to see what's going on. Because we know Kanye. We know what Kanye's doing. But he's an artist. He's a creative. So all this BS he's doing is within his lane. You? You don't have a lane. No. Because she, she has Cause to you, on you everybody, everybody else's, else's lane. Yeah. And then, then you ride on it. And yes, I saw, I saw somebody, influence. they was like, maybe I'm uneducated. Yes, sweetie. Um, when I tell you Kim Kardashian is like the most, she just, her family is a cultural appropriation queens. And when something is coming out, like, oh my God, you're getting the Kali, the Kali space buzz of the braids or the, the whoever braids, bra bitch, I need you to speak the fuck up whenever that's happening because you 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 on the internet too bitch so i need you to speak the fuck up when it's happening because i'm like and be like nah my homegirl does it up or this is from the black community like what like mm -hmm. i need you to speak up when it's when it's needed oh yeah. i got i got and somebody they, out of jail and whoa, they don't point speak out up who, on it point out who who does this on the regular not just what you doing Point out, like, how can we, right, like, how can we build this person up to get these people going? You have all so, the platforms, but you're not using it to help, help the no, ones no. who are trying to help but don't have the money, and you have the money. And what I also don't like is the fact that for people who know better, when you say, oh, Kanye West, he clothed me, told me what to wear, told me how to do things, told me what makeup to wear, everyone on the outside is like, oh my God, so controlling. Everyone on the inside is like, if Kanye didn't teach you how to be a black girl, then you wouldn't be where you are. But I don't hear that coming from you. That's my issue. If Ray, didn't, if Ray J didn't put you on and Kanye didn't teach you how to be black over and over again, you wouldn't be pulling up to the Met Gala with these outfits. You wouldn't have the 2845. You wouldn't have that if Kanye didn't pull up and do what he does. Because I'm telling you, pr prior to Kanye, if it, it can't, the car, keeping up with the Kardashians was all y'all had. And then once he pulled up in your life, everything started popping off. All of a sudden, you were a model. First, you were just Kim Kardashian lips, tips finger hips whatever then you are a model so i'm not doing it i'm not doing it until we're out here giving credit where credit is due it was a black man that put me on and it's a black man that continues continues me into the into what black culture is the whatever box braid kylie whatever whatever until we get to that point all this raw you talking is raw like that's what it is it's raw raw like I don't like it. I'm a I don't like person, it. but rada, ain't, ain't nothing. Rada, rada, rada. rada. Like schnitzel from chowder, rada, rada. I don't like it, yo. Oh, that's my homie, though. Shoot. <laughs> out of here. I digress. That was a nice <laughs> reference. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute and all, but I still don't like that bitch. Yeah, I Maybe I need to meet her and sit down and talk so to her. So you're trying to scratch the surface, like, look what I thought. We're like, yeah, but there's stuff down there that you're not trying to, come on now. Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Entertainment. All right. Right. <laughs> Entertainment. And here we are. All she right. just got like 15 minutes of free publicity. <laughs> yeah. See, that was the point. That, that's what Infamy is still fame. Ugh. There's no such thing as bad publicity. All right. Tell that to Chris Wu. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, Chris right Brown? Oh, Chris Wu. Right, right. I mean, Chris Brown at some point, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yes. Um, next topic, y'all. The Fall of U.S. Entertainment Awards. Oh, shit. Music. All right. It's the Vibe Awards, the Source Awards. Sorry, R.I.P. <laughs> English singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran tells it like it is during a radio interview after the 2021 MTV VMAs where he performed. He clarified that the problem isn't his fellow entertainers being toxic, but the competitive energy wrought by their groupies and the context. He says, all the artists are sweet people, but they're like surrounded by entourages that want them to win too. So it's one artist surrounded by 10 people and another artist surrounded by 10 people. And everyone is kind of giving each other the side eye. Ooh. 
The room is filled with resentment and hatred toward everyone else and it's quite an uncomfortable atmosphere. It's just lots of people wanting other people to fail and mm. I don't like that. He is sure to let it be known that it was not just the MTV Awards but every award show he has been to, naming the Grammys, AMAs, and Billboards. Mm. He continues to say the after parties, again, it's not just musicians. It's musicians, all their entourages, then you got influencers, and blah, blah, blah. People get the same feeling as me at those award shows. I've spoken to people and they're like, I just felt really depressed afterwards. Aww. Mm. The atmosphere is just not nice. Mm. It's a really, really horrible atmosphere to be in there. Mm. I always walk away feeling sad and I don't like it. Oh, oh that's so upsetting. Wow. He compares it to the award show culture in the UK saying, in England, our award shows are just like everyone gets drunk and no one really cares who wins or loses. It's just sort of a good night out. Explaining that Brits are much less intense when it comes to handing out top honors, significantly because everyone gets sloshed <laughs> at UK shows. Nice. That's I like that word. Here. I think Slosh. I might use that Slosh. word. Slosh. Slosh. Yeah. Slosh. Hey, are you sloshed? <laughs> and what happens when you put a slushy in Hennessy? Slosh. Oh, no. The UK, like, I just love it. They have the ability to not give a fuck after fucking everyone and everything over for so long. Ugh. <laughs> 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 I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. That was great. <laughs> no, that's great. Great great for this. Yes, yes. Mm. Heck yeah. Almost died. Almost <laughs> I mean, I agree though. Like, I think... Uh, is this... This is... I feel like this is really an American thing. It's, it's really all upsetting. Just hating to be hating. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Big facts. That's what I'm saying. Like, cause we we. Cause we have no foundation. What did we talk about? <laughs> I don't know. It was a thing that we seen in a show or whatever, and we talked about it, and it was just like, oh no, that's an American thing, and it was like, oh fuck. Like the more and more I like see how other countries react towards things and the conversations that they have and the different levels of respect that they have for certain things and how they just portray things. I'm just like. Yo, we bad. We just not, we, we're not it. <laughs> we're just not it. Like, and it makes me really sad because you grow up thinking in the beginning of your life. Mm. You know, America's great. America's awesome. Like, we do a lot of things. And then you get older and you're like, ooh, ooh we suck. <laughs> we are the worst of the worst. Oh, like, I grew up knowing we was the like, worst of the worst. Mm, I don't know. I don't like yeah, saying see, we. I, I didn't, I'm not we. I didn't have <laughs> that, so... Because when you go elsewhere, when they think of an American, they don't think of nobody sitting on this couch. I'm going to let you know that. Big facts. Mm -hmm. Right. Big so facts. I was like, I didn't have that luxury. Sure. Really don't care. I'm just saying. Once, once you had the Christopher Columbus conversation, I knew what was happening. I was like, oh. Right. Yo, shout out to Indigenous Peoples Day tomorrow. Hey. Yes. Officially going to be changed forever. No more Christopher Columbus. Let's no, go. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yes. Fuck that. that dude. Over 11. They Almost called him a nigga. You don't even get that right. evidence that there were several um, uh, people in in Italy, several cities in Italy that knew that the Americas existed before Christopher Columbus. Of course. Obviously. Mensa Musa's brother came to the Americas Thank you. like a thousand years before Thank that. Thank you. Mensa Musa's the richest black man in all history. Mm -hmm. They try to make it seem as if like we weren't already navigating and traversing the entire planet. We're indigenous to the entire planet. We've been we know all the, around us. Right, right. yeah, you know how like, the pyramids were. Stop playing with me. Right, it's just like on the, on the, what you call it, on the Far East, they were connected to the Americas mm -hmm. way back when. It was just in Europe, they didn't know what the fuck was going now, on. All of Christopher Columbus's cartographers were Moors. We, True. We know that. Plus, again, uh, like, we weren't trying to happen. subjugate the world. That's the thing. Just because people feel like just because they weren't trying to conquer it, it wasn't discovered. No. <laughs> we knew not to go like, oh, over okay, there. Y'all are here. Cool. I'm going to go back home. See ya. That's like you walk around the corner <laughs> and be like. like that one island. That if you get close, they start shooting arrows at your ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let me tell you about Jesus. <laughs> 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 they told that man not to. Oh, I got to tell him about. Mm, they they, they made, already, they'd already <laughs> shot at him. He went. He got. He got killed on the second day because he went back. Mm -mm. Oh, you dumb dumbass. Ass. That's what you deserve it. <laughs> they already warned you. They was right. just like, yeah, they were like, hey, don't go there, the they'll cheek. shoot you. Then he went there and they shot at him. He's like, I'll just come back tomorrow. Y'all see what was said today. <laughs> And then he came into that and place. And as the word says, he turned the other cheek and it was not it. of the And then they put poison on the darts. That bitch. part. We got uh, to. They did. In a boat. But yeah, so I feel like, I agree, because that sucks. Like, uh, this is this is why mental health needs to be like a really important thing, just in entertainment in general, because it just seems like 
a lot of people aren't being transparent, like, and how they really feel because nobody wants to get, like, shitted on or nobody wants to get bad, like, really bad publicity or, like, blacklisted or whatever. So people aren't talking about the real shit that they're feeling. And that makes me really sad because we could all just be fine. <laughs> we and could also, all just these be awards fine. mean nothing. I was just that. They, that's they, they mean nothing. Up. They're not for anything. It is literally just to get people, like, their fate. But like, the thing is, the people that's on the board mm -hmm. is voting. So yes, it's not even the They fans. don't even listen to all the stuff. So no. I was like, yo, if people don't win platinum, double platinum, yeah. they still don't win. They're not, they they're don't not listen to that music. Emerge into like, the into the entertainment industry. They are just big heads. Like that's all they are. They don't know anything about the industry. They don't know what's going on. They don't know who's in and who's not. Like no, no they don't we, understand the value of entertainment. We live in a culture of addiction. Yes. Oh. Right? Yes. So that being said, living in this culture of addiction, as a child, you know what I'm saying, we're told re you reward for work in a sense. Mm -hmm. You run the race, you get first place, you get a trophy. Mm -hmm. Right? If you continue with that successful mentality, then as an adult, you run the race, you get the trophy, you get first place. But we live in a world where you can like submit your songs to movies and TV shows, live in the hidden hills for God knows how much money, never get one of these trophies. MTV Awards, Best of the Year, whatever, whatever, the Tony, the Alma, whatever the award is. Like, we live in a world where, again, you have to keep, you have to pick your focuses and pick where you're going. So, the fact that we're walking into a space to possibly accept an award and any energy other than celebration is in that room is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood is fake, y'all. Yeah. Like, funny. for those of you who really don't understand, it is literally like, like, if this is the world, Hollywood is the tinfoil around it. Like, that is literally it. It's very That's li It's so surface. It's so superficial. And then, again, it's, it's trash. <laughs> so it sucks that the fact that, like, again, we live in a world where people feel like it's more important to get on that stage and, I want to thank my mom and I want to thank the 10 people behind me and da 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 That's better than people being like, y'all made music that moved this entire room. Yes. This one song, They Don't Care About Us, is something that we can not, not play anymore. This one song, Remember the Time, is one video that cannot, not, ever be played you know what i'm saying like it's like when you make influential stuff like that it's not about the awards you get you keep the award bro i don't want the award i want to know that the generation learned from this yes. i want to know that your kids are singing this song because your mom was singing this song because it made sense to her struggle that's what this is about it's the human experience not oh we going for best artist well fuck <laughs> you bro like what what is this well, remember sheeran said it's not the artist no, yeah, never know. Yeah, like I said, right I, again, here. because the artists work, they we're hustling every day. Mm -hmm. We got to do stuff like this for twenty four, almost twenty four hours a day every day. Exactly. It's yeah. like living, breathing, to... like losing sleep, like working hard for an award mm. that does not give you value. At mm. all. I tell people at that all. a lot of people come to LA and they don't realize LA is an energetic place. So mm -hmm. when you're like, oh, when 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 they, when they get here, you ask for these situations. I want to be in that struggle. I want to make it to the top. Da da da. Me and my people don't do that. We want to get there. We want to open the door without having to touch the handle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because COVID. No, seriously. Yeah. We want to open the door without touching the handle, and it happens. But people come to LA and they want to struggle. They want to be next to Jay Z's camp, like yo, F Jay Z. We want on this side. I don't want that beef. I don't want that struggle. I don't want, that's not a, like, people want that experience. That's so like, and it's weird, yeah, like, let's, because it's romantic. Yeah, let's change the narrative, bro. That shit. It's a lot of work. Everyone does it doesn't, right. You don't gotta kill 50 giants to get to the top of the mountain, my bro. Just climb the mountain. Matter of fact, take a, take a dolly up there. Let's, let's be smart. We're a new generation. Like, we don't gotta elbow grease at all no more. Press the button, make it happen. Big facts. Yeah, come um, on, bro. I don't know, they're like, if, if everybody's feeling this way, I don't know, there's strength in numbers. Right. So I'm like, if, if, if many people, like you don't have to be the only person to come out and say it, but like, mm. if you know that other artists are feeling that way, how about y'all round up, like come together and figure out a way to like end this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And figure out a way to make, like, yeah. Like, your like, say, exactly. don't go up there acting like no goddamn fool, it's just That's what I was saying. How about, how about they clamp it down and how many people that can come with it? Your Thanks. manager, you, maybe yeah. a, two or three backup singles or something like that that actually does the thing that you do to right, go. Right, right. And that's right. just you like, you know, I, 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 I
have a pep talk with your, like, I don't mind the entourage, whatever the fuck, but if your entourage is toxic as fuck, they needs to go. That's what that's that needs a, to be. Like, because everybody saying. needs, everybody needs to be on the same page. So mm -hmm. if you as the artist are just like, I don't care if I win. Like, I just, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that I was even nominated. I'm happy, right. I'm grateful, you know, whatever. But your entourage is like, no, man, you gotta win, blah, 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 blah. And anybody who, who wins and, like, you're not winning, then fuck them. Like, yeah. no. Uh, First of all, why are you around these people? How your shadow acting different? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. We gotta, we gotta open this up to like a broader conversation yeah, just about like, the entourage in general. Exactly. You gotta think about it. Like most of these people are on payroll to do nothing. Mm. And, exactly. And then, but then that's that's even that's even deeper because we don't know who these people were and like what their relationship Before was the, yeah. to the artist and like now they feel that they have loyalty to these folks so it's like yeah. they don't want to cut them off. You exactly. know what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's yeah. deep. Yeah. There's it's levels. deep. And they messy. Right. Like, and they that's messy. Saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I was, like, in the industry like that, like, no, like, ain't nobody coming unless it's just, we all, we, we, we all, all together. together. <laughs> like, right. You we, understand why we come here. out together. Like, I don't have to, I, I should yes. not have to tell you how to act in a social setting. Facts. I should not have to do that. I learned this this year. But you can't you invite everybody. Not to have place. loyalty to someone who does not have loyalty to you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not in the, oh, like, I paid you or I did this for you money wise. You did this for me money wise. Like, no, no, That's no, no, no. It's, it's, it's here. Here. Mm -hmm. If yeah. they do not have loyalty, like, loyalty to you here, then you do not have to have loyalty to them here. Because you're only hurting yourself, you're draining yourself, you're also keeping, you're like you're blocking your blessings. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not ready to receive the blessings because of the toxic energy around you, it Tell will em. not come. Tell them. So you need to fix your entourage. Tell them. Because if you can bring, you, like I said, no problem with the amount of people because the, like, the more the merrier, the bigger the celebration for everybody. Yep. But if you're not with the white, with the, with the white people. <laughs> <laughs> If you're, not, if you're not with the right people, then you're going to keep feeling this way. So fix your circle, and then these celebrations can happen. That's how I feel. Yeah, for sure. It all starts with But you know, you know who not to bring and who you can bring. So I need y'all to quit playing. Exactly. <laughs> you know who feels good and who don't feel good. Because nice. we all we, we, we all have access to that. No more Hennessy at the award show. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. Is oh, man. All right, let's go. Lick that it's me? All right. Uh, uh, new sums. <laughs> new bills. <laughs> Some <ones>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since the, oh, the next topic, in case you guys are not here. Since the stopping of the governor recall, hey, California Governor Newsom has been busy, including his signing of a bill that allowed for descendants of the original Bruce <laughs> Beats owners to get their land back. He has signed some new things this week. California is now the first state to prohibit stealthing or removing a condom oh, yes. without the permission Sorry. during intercourse. I just saw this. Making it illegal to remove condoms without obtaining verbal consent. Come on. Beautiful. I'm glad How was that not a thing? Bro, it wasn't a law. That's what no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't a law. That's the problem. But are we like, <laughs> are we doing like you can't poke holes in condoms too? Like that's, that's, okay, anyway. Yeah. Um, the new measure, I, I'm not asking. Yeah. The new measure amends the state civil code, adding to the act of the state civil defense, oh, definition of sexual battery. Wow. Ah. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. That makes it clear that a victim can sue perpetrators for damages, including punitive damages, which water down means something you pay for being an asshole hmm. so you're not tempted to be an asshole again mm -hmm. the erotic service providers legal ed educational research project the ersplerp <laughs> supported the bill <laughs> Man, I had to, I had to. the espalerp the espalerp yeah the espalerp <laughs> aka the erotic services supported the bill saying that it could allow right? Like oh, you're like spit anyway. I'm not, yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm, it's, mm -hmm. it's the it's the erotic services, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like a really uh, yeah. long night. Saying it, um, <laughs> supported the bill, saying it could allow sex workers to sue clients who remove condoms. Wow. Yes, yes. respect for sex workers. Everybody deserves that <laughs> right. ability. Come on now. What the hell? Newsom also approved the second bill that treats the rape of a spouse the same as the rape of a non-spouse. Thank you. Removing an exemption to the rape law if victim is married to the perpetrator. 
There we go. The exemption dates to an era where women were expected to obey their husbands. Yeah. California had been one of the 11 states to distinguish between spousal rape and other forms of sexual assault. Right. All right, then. Come on now. We doing it. Um, also, side if you guys don't remember, New York says that you can now pursue your no limit. you can pursue your um, molester or rapist um, indefinitely. There is no statute mm -hmm. of limitations in the state of New York. In case people no. do not know that, it is now a law. Yes. Continuing forward, Newsom approved extending the statute of limitations for victims to file civil claims if they were sexually assaulted by law enforcement officers who were on duty, in uniform, or armed at the time. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to be on duty. If you were armed at the time, you work for the cops and you sexually assault somebody, you're going to jail. Bitch. Um, Fucking good. That part. You did no, because like, I, I, I've literally heard stories. And I'll get back in a 10 seconds. I've heard stories. Um, sad to say, people that I've known who have been approached by cops, like flashing a badge, have a gun, but not on duty. And then from there, it's kind of like, he's got a badge and a gun. What do I do? Whatever he wants, in a sense. And it's like, yeah. now you can go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that this is a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I'll oof. answer that after. Anyway, he also approved the bill increasing access to diversion programs for youth who commit nonviolent felonies. Thank you. With the goal of encouraging more rehabilitation. And that's important. Mm -hmm. Is that like a transition? Like program thing, like yeah. Okay. So diversion okay. programs are basically like if you like get caught stealing, like it's grand larceny. Let's say you sold ten thousand out of a register at Seven Eleven because this happened to have ten thousand on web. But you just put your hand in and grabbed it. It was ten thousand. Because it's grand larceny, you should get like tried as an adult and get like twenty years. But if you're a kid and you're homeless, for example, your mom's on drugs, you live in California, you were born in like LA, so everything's adult for you, they'll put you in a program where like, we'll teach you obviously stealing's wrong. We'll make yeah. sure that you have what you need because like they treat they treat you as a person before a problem now. Yeah. Instead of being like, oh, this kid, like, it's, it, you know, it's, it's like, like they do no for you. Yeah, it's like, like it's like, yeah. They do at the end of the day, you know, say insurance is here, we'll get the money back, but why are you stealing in the first place? Like, what's up with your home life? Oh, yeah, you don't have a home. There's something wrong if you think that this is okay. That's yeah. Or if you feel the need to do this. So, That's diversion awesome. programs are based, it's kind of like a halfway house for kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's like, like when, when you come here, it's like, yo, you're here because you could be in jail. So, you know what I'm saying? This is your one chance. So, I think that's the end of it, yes? The end of the uh, Newsom. So yeah, um, that's awesome. shout out. Uh, 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 and I will say this: in hindsight, I was already for Newsom, like what he was trying to do. But I'm glad that people did not kick him out. This is what happens every time in history: when the people that are trying to get kicked out forcefully by like other other people in their camp, you know what I'm saying? When the governors and the and the big money people are like kick this governor out, it's because this stuff was about to happen. Right. A major change in your city or your community was about to happen. Had he got kicked out, I can only imagine. Oh my God. Oh, Bro, it Who would have gotten into office? Oh. And again, this is California. And, and y'all gotta understand, California oh. is not one of these states to be fucked with. Like, California is basically the entire West Coast. What happens here really does affect the country. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 sixty percent of the country's food comes from California. California. Is a you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trendsetter, like physically, um, influentially, like mm -hmm. entertainment-wise, obviously. So, yeah. like, when they make law, when California makes laws, when New York makes laws, when Texas makes laws, yeah. Detroit and Atlanta and Chicago, like these cities. When they make laws, it sticks somewhere or it becomes, or it's too big to ignore. Yes. So the fact that now California is like anywhere from all the way down to five, anywhere on this 170, if you're a cop or if like, it's law, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then consider that, like even if you're not a US citizen per se, if you happen to be here, green card, whatever, you're in the state of California. Mm -hmm. So now with, if y'all don't have, if y'all haven't been here in California, everything's hand over hand. Everything's like it's on paper, but on the other side of the paper, what's it really say? Mm -hmm. That's California. So if you come here and now we have the laws that say you can't do that, even if you're an illegal citizen or illegal whatever, like that you're still a cop and the law says a cop can't do this. So even if they're not supposed to be in the country, you as a cop have to be held. Not like, oh, well, they're not a citizen anyway. It's not a law anyway, so I can walk in, run up in your house knowing that I'm not supposed to be here and do things to y'all. I've heard stories. Mm -hmm. Not no more, bro. Mm -hmm. Not no more. It doesn't matter if he's from France and he's here illegally. You're a cop and you're here. Mm -hmm. That's responsibility. It's the principle. So yeah. shout low-key, high-key shout-outs to five, That's three awesome. years ago, the, the intro of cancel culture, which is now starting to dissipate into accountability culture. Yes. There we go. I appreciate uh. that. Making me so happy. There we go. Right? I appreciate that. To add on what you said earlier about how you knew like new people that you know they would have to do whatever a cop tells them to do whatever. Mm -hmm. I literally one of the, one of the places that I grew up in. When I tell you, I heard that the only because I didn't understand why drugs were so big in the area that I lived in. Like I didn't understand how it was so accessible, how it was so okay, how like people weren't going to prison or jail or whatever the fuck. Like how they weren't being held accountable. 
it was because the people who had access to it, most of them were females mm. that had access to it. They would get away with it because they would cops because they would say, oh, well, I, you know, I'd take a blind eye, you know, if you did this for me. Mm. You'd take a blind eye. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, <laughs> that's, that's really, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> an eye for an eye. I mean, yeah. yeah. That, and the whole world that's keeps really turning. Big. And so, like, as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, this was a big thing back home. It probably still is because I'm sure the cops still haven't learned or still don't understand. Also with, you know, I mean... Now people are having to take accountability and the cancel culture is a big thing right now. So mm -hmm. people are, you know, getting shit handed to them, you know, in that way. But I, I'm sure there are people that still have to put in work to get out of that habit because they've gotten away with it for so long. It's, it's a hard habit to get out of. That but part, sadly. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that this is a thing because... Let's go progression. All you, all you nasty ass motherfuckers. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't go to North Carolina though. Don't do that shit because our laws is different. Yeah, hang it. You can basically get raped. It's all right. Wow. Once you start having sex, you can't say no in it. Mm. They can still have sex with you, so mm -hmm. don't don't do it there. Just FYI. Mm. <laughs> you liable to get one cut. Day, one day, one Ain't day. Ain't no laws. You liable to get cut, player. <laughs> well, well, see, straight to number. So hopefully. Sheesh. You know, because most of the world or whatever, you know, hopefully everybody like falls in line. Yeah, we're gonna be the last one. You know, it takes. But so, I mean, it's, <laughs> as long as it gets there, right? As long as it gets there, that's all we need. Final thought for me: what this means is, ladies, gentlemen, he, she, they, it, zai, whatever you feel like you are. From now on, if someone touches you inappropriately or you feel like it's rape, don't ask questions. Stab them because it's just, <laughs> no, no, dead ass. This is illegal on all fronts. Consent is not that hard to ask for. It's not that hard. I know. You're trying to smash? It's that easy. And it's you can say yes or, or you can be like, buy me a drink first. No, it's and that simple. Don't get mad at the rejection because there was a girl that just died recently that was killed because she said no to being to going on a date and she was followed home and killed. Mm. That's, That's ridiculous. Like, That's stupid. Yes, and I keep seeing videos on TikTok <sighs> recently actually. It's not like Ish. it was a thing from back no. This recent all dudes TikToks. Bad, bro. Yes, recent TikToks have been showing wow. cameras of like like video recordings of guys like approaching a girl and the girl's just like, "No, I'm good." And they're just like grabs them or they'll follow them home these, or they'll chase these after three them. girls or, had to run because he was like ah, like he came back with a gun yeah that's what i'm like hey, yeah it's not what was wrong Bro. i don't understand what trauma said, did you go no. through right or did you no. see the entitlement right you can't take a no i know but you saw it somewhere that's the thing you yeah. saw it somewhere because nobody just it's thinks it's this way much. You don't just think Stupid. this way. I was like, you, you saw it somewhere, therefore you thought it was okay because somebody else did it. So therefore you watched trauma or you experienced it yourself. So what the fuck is it? Like, what, I don't, you don't ask questions like, hey, is this okay? How do we treat hey, that like, though, can we? Mm. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, that's, well, that's, there's That's where we're at though, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's right I mean, like, sure. how do you treat somebody rejection? Like okay. Because I'm not going to condone these people's behavior, but these people more often than not did live very traumatic yeah, lives. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I feel like, well, that. one, therapy, I don't think that's going to be the thing that fixes it, but that's right. a start. Right. Because having that conversation allows you to talk about why you think it's okay, mm -hmm. what made it so normal for you. And then when somebody comes in and tells you, like, I understand, you know, you went through this, but this is not okay. You're hurting somebody. You know, like you you have to see if they have empathy. And if they don't have empathy, yes, then they're a lost then they're, you know, they're a lost cause, honestly. I mean, Mm. Even with that, uh, it was like a young guy that killed the girl at the school, mm -hmm. and his dad was like, "No, nah. his dad kept like, yeah, keep asking her. Oh, well, all she had to do was keep, all she had to do was just say yet. The uh, fuck, like, no, she said no. So mm -hmm. that you should not just talk. Son, yeah. leave her alone. She don't want you. Mm -hmm. Is that a, yeah? Just keep going for it. No, fuck that. Stop doing that. Yeah. So my thing is that like, um, one system of value. Well, one empathy. Um, two system of values, and I mean when I say system of values, I mean like seeing people as yourself, 
seeing mm. people as people, mm -hmm, as humans. Objects. And then three, just I think like being in this generation where because because we can order it all and we can just do it online, you can basically have whatever you want. Humans are not products. Mm -mm. Like really, really teaching your kids or teaching they're teaching people at the end of the day, like people are people. It's there's a whole universe inside of you, you, yeah. you, and you. You know what I'm saying? And people are allowed to say no. They're allowed to have their own life. They're allowed to do their things. Ultimately, though, what I don't like is the fact that when someone tells you no, for me, I want someone to tell me yes and be excited about it. If you're gonna tell me no, that's an instant for sure. Like that's an Word. instant. Okay, you know Word. what I'm saying? I don't want to be like no. Well, no, for real. Like I don't want to. I, I don't want to do the super chase situation. Yeah. Because yeah. again, that's when you get into that iffy ground, and then you gotta start doing that strong arm on her, hoping she wants to be yeah. strong arm. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Let her pull up on you and then be like, oh, okay, well, I'm this kind of guy. Well, I like that. Oh, so we good. You know what I'm saying? Do right. that. That would be so much easier. Yeah. So my thing is, it's like, I don't know what it is about like men in this generation who don't like, it's like you don't, you want to be like, I put the work in, but when it comes to putting the work in, you want to yeah. put the work in. Mm -hmm. You want to hustle the hustle and work out the workout and buy the car and clean your whip, hey, on hand wash it. <laughs> but when it comes to women, you don't want to like, okay, let me put on the smell good. Let me approach her two weeks early so I can get her to go to the concert two weeks from then. Like, like you don't want to do the work. You yeah. just want to pull up like, yo, what's up? For sure. Like, no, yeah. bro. I kind of blame bro. the media though too. I, no, blame, it, I, blame, yes. I blame the fairy tales. Ooh. Yes. I blame the cartoon. Yes. Cause it was always like that hard to get thing, right? It's like, yeah, oh, if she says no, that means you gotta try yeah. harder. You gotta, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That means that, oh, you gotta go chase it. But it's just like, that's not always the case. But to be fair, maybe that's, maybe that's their thing, but that's not mm -hmm. everybody's thing. So you gotta respect where people are at. But yeah, I'm like, even no, what, but I'm, okay, like, I saw I'm playing devil's advocate here. Even like a hunter though, from what I've seen, like hunters, they do like the chase. But what you're not gonna do is, let me cripple the lion's back leg so I can, no, you, I wanna find you in your, I'ma go to the jungle where you at, I'ma figure out, oh, this is his favorite tree, cool, I'ma stake it out. You wanna be in the environment where you're giving your best and you're receiving that. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a man, you're downplaying yourself, can't speak on women, as a man, you're downplaying yourself by not bringing your best energy when you approach someone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if that. you fall, you know what I'm saying? I feel like as a, as a man, you should at least work like that. What else are we doing out here? What the fuck else are we doing? We working. That, so like, come on, bro. That's a way to be consistent and being the chaser, being the hunter without making it rapey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's a way to do it. Like, get to know the girl, become her friend. Like, you know, find things out about her. Right. Whatever, put in the work. Because, I mean, ideal, a friendship before a relationship is great. It's, 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 it's beautiful. It doesn't always work out, but it's it's beautiful because it's a genuine, you know, genuine thing that happens, a genuine bond. But to I'm like um, two right now. another thing, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's over two. <laughs> Dumb. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I'm also like over something, so a few numbers in there. That's all. But, we um, here. But uh, but also another thing, I actually talked about this with somebody. Um, the other day, just because uh, I feel like our education system is awful. Yes. Um, there's mm. no point in a lot of the things we learn. Mm. Um, I feel like one of the things that should be taught is human values, like is you know respect and like I mean we learn this in well, I learned this in kindergarten, Ki uh, the uh, golden rule: treat yeah, others the way you want to be treated. treated. So like, where did we lose that? Because you don't about. talk about it every year anymore. You don't bring those values back to education it's all about mm. two plus two equals four like i mean yeah treat that's others nice, the way that they like, want to be treated yeah like mm. exactly yes that too it's just i feel like there's no value in education anymore like just the oh if you want to make this amount of money but you know people don't get to make that amount of money most of the time from their education you know how long it takes people to get jobs after college mm. like I just don't see a lot of value in the education that's being taught right now. Like mm -hmm. you can still have it, but teach other things in school. Like teach respect, mm -hmm. teach having values, teach meditation, like that's things true. that are really, really good and really healthy for people. And it yeah. really, I mean, if you do it for kids, you know how beautiful the future can be. Like start right. when they're young and, and then and, and people and kids that are troublesome, mm. like who are having problems at home, school is a safe place for them. Mm. And that could change their whole world. Mm. Like if their parents are arguing at home or like abuse is happening, meditate. 
block that shit out. Like, it could really help these kids and help the future, and you're just, you just, you want them to learn, I don't know, yeah, experiments the, and shit, and multiplication. <laughs> like, the fuck we gonna do with that? We have computers that do it at our stores for us. Like, we don't have to do, no, I don't know. Yeah. Well, of course, the, the public school system is set up for working class and so the working class goes to work because in private schools because I worked with um kids that are their parents are millionaires and billionaires mm -hmm. they have that mm -hmm. See? they have yeah, that like we like when I did I I had to sub for a, a, a teacher um I help sub because we they have two teachers they have an assistant and then oh, like the an aide. yeah and mm -hmm. so I was the aide that day and we they did I forgot what it's called we did a whole circle and then she was like, um, the teacher was even open too, and it was basically telling about what you want to work on and like how you feeling that day. And then the, even the teacher was like, oh, "Well, my dad has another has another girlfriend," and so da 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 da. And I was like, "She is really open with these therapy." Like, yeah, yes. and it, it was really nice. And you go around, everybody say, "Oh,", oh. and then one kid was like, "I really want to hope that I can this this week." Like help my reading get better and da 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 da. Like mm -hmm. when I tell you it was so fucking beautiful and now I would have cried. See, and they do that. that. <laughs> they do that through all of elementary. Oh, I think God. they still. I don't think they do it like in they need to do it middle every school year. or high school. But no, they do it every week. They need at the end of the week. They need to do it um, every year. Every or year at the beginning of the week. But yeah, they do that. They do um, infinity groups, mm. uh, which are like. All the black kids get together and they talk about what's happening and all the white kids get talk about Asians. They Whoa. all get, Yeah, and so it's like they have their groups to where they can sit down and talk about things and then for the other people, you know, white people, they get together and they talk about like what's happening with us or with the Asians or whatever's oh, happening. Wow. So it was like, yes, it's there. Just, See, just it's when you working. have money. It's working. Just when you have money. Um, mm. No, it needs to be a thing for it, every, exactly. everybody. So and much would change. Right. Oh. And because we have, like, there's basically, I just call him my ally. I forgot his name. He's such a cool person. But he, he had to have, he was white. He was like, this is what we need in our school. And they listen. But, yeah, no. All right. What's the next one? You. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fans. Oh, next. All right. Fans stands in empty bank accounts. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Good. All right, BTS means so much to me because they're involved in every aspect of my life. Wait, who, 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 who am it's, I? It's a quote. It's, it's just a quote. Oh, okay. I'm like, who am I talking about? Who, who am I? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Most of my life is dedicated towards them. Every day I'm doing something for them. There's truly no one like them. They're, they're special inside and out. They're such kind boys. They do so much for their fans. They do... They're just, to me, my favorite people in the whole world, aside from my family. These are the words of seven-year army, 18-year-old Thai. Who has been following BTS since 2014 oh, God, at uh, oh man, that's a, that was a bomb. At 11 years Ew. old, on MTV's life, Lifestyles of the oh. Biggest Standoms. That shows, shows off her massive collection of BTS official merchandise, including items from BTS tours, their albums and DVD concerts, tickets and DVDs, concert tickets, cups, sleeves from fan events, and fan-made pins and keychains. She also has the products from BTS brand deals, matching clothing items that PBS members have worn, BTS microphones, and more. God. Damn. Wow. Um, how like, much money her parents made? She's Daddy Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. Yo. Dad, quit playing. Let's talk about it. Uh, she oh, says no. the collection began with her displaying little B BTS themed items in her room, but over time, just one more. You're an addict. Just one more. Quickly turned into a whole room full of merchandise. <laughs> she like, says definitely lied to my parents like maybe more. once or twice about how much I've spent. <laughs> Just for my dad's oh, mental no. stability, I have not told him how much I spent. He's probably better off not knowing. <gasps> that says she just she has spent at least fifty. Oh, she's been. I can't even say it, Lord. I will be. I'll her say ass. Ass. <laughs> I will be her. Why ass. are we still broke? Why are we still living this two bedroom one? Yeah, I would be mad. Fifty thousand. <laughs> what? Don't on the group 
be today. Toxic parent. That's including 30K US only on her She's a scalper. Quit playing with me. She's the lone scalper. It's her. It's her. Credit 20K on concert tickets. Concert tickets. Okay, okay, it's more. Clothes, the BTS members have one and more. She's literally the reason why. So, of the 20,000, that includes like concert tickets, plane tickets, hotel stays, like it includes all of that. 50. Thousand in total since you started. Literally, fifty thousand. How do you get this? Your parents got coins. Literally, the name of like the the um the, the, the title ass. for this was just like what she spent on BTS could pay for a year of college tuition. That Bro. was that That's was the, a like, year of yeah. college tuition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually only a year. Only a year. Thought yeah. she was yeah. Yeah. I missed that Not even a year in my college. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look. Yeah. Is yeah. That yeah. High yeah. High yeah. High yeah. High my college, it might be too. Yeah, my no, college, that was, my that, college, well, when I was there, that's all of my four years. It's, Hell yeah. I think mine's just like one year and like the um the meal plan for the year. That's 50 Yeah, and that was in state. I was in state. Yeah, for mine, I was in like 16000 Every two years and a meal plan. Because I was like 20, it was like 20, it was like 20 k a year. That's about right. Yeah, yeah. That's how much college should cost. Yeah, mine was 16 a year. That's HBC in the South. Ah, that's why. That's affordable. You can actually work and pay to be in school. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? So what I didn't know, that's why I'm in debt. That's what it looked like. <laughs> the I devil. Know. That's all right. BTS, just... go fight. Big hit, go pay it. Um, yo, so that's standing. Is there more? No? Okay, that's, that's all. interesting. Like, uh, what her parents do, because she got the coins. She getting stuck. Not really, though. She's, she's an army like, brat. She's like, you're just 18. You still live in your parents' house. Facts. Whose money are you spending? Facts. If you've been, if, if this is a collection of the past seven years of your life, like, I, this money she, maybe in? she's been working and she gets an allowance. Who knows? She probably got a credit card. So here's my thing, though. <clears throat> I won't be upset at this if you become like their official something, like BTS's like official, of, like their street team. Yeah, like, like, like literally, like leader of the street team. You work under Hive Entertainment, and you're like, or like maybe like you're the official BTS like, like um, resell club. merchandiser, and you're and you're officiated by like Hive Entertainment. Like if you ever want to find BTS's concert from their 2011, you gotta hit up this girl. Unless you become that for them, this was a waste. Like literally, like this is a waste. I mean. Because you could. You could start a store like right, right in South yeah, Korea. Yeah. You could do an online store and yeah. it could be official. But I feel like that's not what she wants to do. She wants to continue the thing. She's also only 18. Facts. She hasn't Facts. thought. She said she likes physical memory. She said yeah. she likes physical so, things. So she's also 18. Uh, I, okay. Being, because I'm trying to get back to my, you know, my, my childhood self and make mm -hmm. her happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that you're doing what makes you happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Kudos to you. The dedication is beautiful in the, you know, in the sense Slightly of Slightly psychotic. It, yes, but no problem. I little do bit. understand because I've, it, it, it's a thing that has happened for years. It's not like a, it's not normal. It's a very normalized thing, but yes, it's, it's, it's a bit much, but you're also a kid. So you don't know how to chill out and that's, you know, that's not, Completely your fault. Completely. Stopping fan from becoming fanatic. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's a thing you'd have to work on, and that's also if you want to work on it. If you don't, that's on you. You become a same. So just don't become a same. I was like, yeah, just yeah, I'm yeah. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the only issue, not issue, because this would be it would be an issue for me if I did it, but obviously not an issue for you because obviously you have access to it. But the amount of money. Whoa, that's, that's all I have to say. Like, just a, whoa. My mama, it's a ass. lot. But, I mean, if you I have it, do what you want with Yo, it. Like, if you got it, you got it like that. That's <laughs> okay. I'm, try I'm trying to be more like, it's not my life. Yeah. So I don't feel any type of way towards it. It's just, it's very interesting that people choose to do this. Um, but you're happy. And as long as you're happy, I guess that's all that really matters. And as long as you're not hurting anybody while you're doing it, yeah, that's also all that matters. So, I mean, do what you do. And the other thing that we were talking about the other day with, like, the whole Chris Wu thing, mm -hmm. where are the parents at? <laughs> well, are you not teaching your children? <laughs> and then how are you going to say, oh, like, I don't want to tell my dad, but I'm going to publish this, like, very widely received article <laughs> saying exactly how much money I'm spending? Mm -hmm. That's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. 
And this, <laughs> this goes with the conversations we've been having on The Current about parents' involvement in their children being, like, really... Crazy. In, yeah, I'm trying, like, to not use that word because nah. Jelly corrected me yesterday. So, uh, yeah, you were like, Insane. don't call their fans okay. crazy. No, I said don't call their fans crazy because they'll get mad. Yeah, and Ooh, I'm trying not to. Army will get mad because yeah, criminally insane. And that's why I'm not. I'm no, trying that, to work on. They not know. Using they that. know within their community that they got crazy people in their community, yeah. which in every other community yes. does. So they need to point out the which ones are fucking crazy that's in there. Sorry, no, I'm we not gonna put all y'all in the army community. Y'all got some crazy ass well, people. Well, yeah, that's the same. For sure. We know that. But generally speaking, not pointing out the sayings, I don't want to call them crazy because it's everybody has their vices. Everybody has their addictions. Especially as a kid, you don't know what, like, how to manage. treat your, yeah, how to manage your addictions. And I mean, I can tell you right now, I've definitely fallen in love with fake, like, characters. So I know what it's like. Oh, why aren't you real you know like and you like imagine and fantasize i get that but i'm also an adult and i know how to not get carried away but like i said you know she's 18 she is just starting her life like she mm. knows absolutely nothing mm. um but yes yeah, bringing it back to like the parents involvement like you Wait. are contributing to an addiction yeah, um, like just different acts. Who's flying her to these places? Exactly. Right. Yes, yeah, so you're contributing to her <laughs> to an addiction. Um, you should probably you chill at? it out. You can't even book a hotel. You just turned 18. Yeah, how, yeah, you've been doing you this for seven yes. years? Yes, yes. Seven you can't even years. rent a car. So yeah, imagine being 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 years yeah, old, exactly. jumping on a plane exactly. to God knows where to see that. No. But that's what I'm saying. You right. you have to figure, you have to wonder who's the who's the one that's, yeah. Is that what? Y'all fit. Just say they said bra in unison and, <laughs> and in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was that's, one tone. I didn't even yes, realize he said it. Yes. I have it. I have it. <laughs> but that's that's bringing it back to the parents, <laughs> the involvement, because Sheesh. they're contributing to the habit. Mm. They are not like having sit downs with their kids like, hey, let's talk about your behavior That'd because be let me just let you know what other people would There's think about or how people would see this or blah, 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 <laughs> this and that. You know? Not even but, how other people would see it. How I see it, you no, think absolutely. my money. Absolutely. Also, I'm a big yeah, guy. but I'm exactly. not necessarily yeah. talking about the money. That's the thing. I'm yeah. not necessarily talking about the money because the parent's going to do what they do of if course. they have it. Of course. It's not That's even true. the money. It's the value, the principle. Yeah. Like, true. This is how it comes off. This is very stalkerish. This is mm -hmm. very like right. out of the norm. This right. is not. This is obsessive. Like well, yeah, well, like Burnham exactly. literally talks about this in one of his specials where he's like making fun of like an R and B artist, and in the song, it's when he talks specifically about the parents, and it's just like, oh, and the parents will just go along right with it because my little girl's in love, and how can love be wrong? Wow. Whoa! Oh, that's that's real. Wow. Like no, no, no. Like it was like like when he makes these songs, he makes them ironically. Where no, he's yeah. just like, oh yeah, parents. Yeah, you're but not I'm saying 13. parents thinking that that's where they're Jeez. that's where they're wrong. You got you're not teaching your kids, and I also I feel like that's that's a thing I keep hearing or I keep seeing all the time mm -hmm. when, like, when like I see kids act out and I see them get away with shit and I'm like oh that was my kid mm. Mm, then you would not get away with my this shit like screaming up. in stores Sorry. oh I'd be like, like the parents do not have backbones anymore and I don't understand because I'm telling you right now it's, because I, it's not illegal to beat your kids in public but you yeah, know okay. you, you can do it. As, yeah. And what we say back in the day, as soon as I get home, exactly. we know what's up. We knew exactly. what it was. We didn't exactly. have to wait till we got that ass up. Exactly. We didn't have to wait. My dad said if you soon if you were exactly. acting up on the yeah. block, every adult had the liberty to beat your ass. Fact. Yes. Community. Yes. Community yes. responsibility. Yes. 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 Now it's, oh, you better not touch my kid. You better not tell him what to do. Right. Don't yeah. tell me that I'm going to If you would just be a parent at home, I wouldn't have to fucking teach your kids to be a fucking human being. Yeah. What? Yeah. And this is why the education. I'm a teacher too. Back, so I, back to the, the education. I feel like, like I'm mommy and daddy in the class. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like that's why in education is so important. They need to change it yeah, because parents aren't no kids, doing it at enough. home. So yeah. the teachers, like the teachers, are influential. You spend eight hours a day with these it's kids. A, it's you need to do something. Yes. Yes. You need Thank to you. do something. So that's why, like. 
parents aren't doing their jobs nowadays. Like, yeah, they're just they, not. When I tell you they was trying to get them in school the fastest because they could not, because oh, they yeah. could not they deal. Couldn't handle it. They're they like, could not what am I supposed to do with my kids? Well, look, <laughs> my <laughs> parent? I don't know, but that's a crazy shame. idea. I don't know. I was like, yo, are you fucking no. kidding me? Like, I'm hearing stories like, I mean, of course, being at the school, I'm hearing stories. My sister is in a public school back on the east coast oh, yep. you know they don't give a fuck yep. out there and i was like she was like girl i had to deal with somebody mama today i was like what is happening this kid ain't been in class and then she calling me i said like, why is she calling you for why she ain't telling her student to get online get online bitch like what you ain't even gotta be be present get online do your work you got these it's not that hard yeah i said yo i would have had all fucking every A's. time and i feel like that's like oh sorry i didn't get you I know, I'm just saying, I would have had all A's. Tell me, you gave me the assignment, I got a whole week to... Bitch, I got all week. Come on. I'm like, you got all week. I, what? I, I will say this for me, because I, I feel like I'm starting to get off to like the BTS thing, but as far as parents, it's my, um, I just don't like the fact that in this generation, you're so willing to make it the teacher's fault. Anything the teacher's fault. With all due respect, mm-hmm. that kid was born here. It was raised here before it even went to the school. Mm-hmm. Your kids should fear you and what you have to say before the school doors. Yeah. That's what my mom was like. When I woke up in the morning, it wasn't, oh, I'm going to go to school. It was, let me get my shit together so I'm going to my mom when I come back home. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, was, yes. uh, it yeah. was literally on Saturday mornings if the house was a clean before noon, I was not leaving the house on Saturday. My mom had authority in my life. Homework was great, but homework was because she was going to chop me up. Not because the school was going to give me a bad grade. Fact. That's where I was in life. My mom That's pulled up in school, so yeah. you know what? I ain't no. Nope. My mom was nope. my guidance counselor for Look. my oh, yeah. entire elementary school life. So Ugh, see these, you I know, did. like when you live I in a small town. I couldn't afford to fuck up. Right. <laughs> when you live in a small town, which I live in a small no, town, and then everybody too. know your family, so you really can't fuck up. She worked the city. Yeah. yeah. And they be like, "Oh, you look like one of the foster kids." I'm like, "God, fucking damn! Oh, my God, the motherfucking look. That ain't even my last name. I did the last name. God damn! Yeah, kids like when they." Kids these days do not test their parents. Like, no, they do test their parents. Yeah. They are they do not fear their parents. No. They do not no. see their parents as a authority at all. Oh, bro, my so, siblings is like that. They be like, oh, man, I get my phone back tomorrow. That's because your parents pay. Can I read one? Uh, if you want to. <laughs> the excitement. Go ahead. You want to do this one? Why not? Go for it. All right. Cool. Mm. Jungkook updates. <laughs> On October 1st, the citizen filed a complaint with the FTC in regards to BTS member Jungkook's backdoor advertisement. Oh, here we go. Controversy. <laughs> As a reminder, a backdoor advertisement refers to the practice of undisclosed or backdoor advertising by Korean celebrities involving the promotion of products without disclosing their ties to the company or being paid to promote it. This was in response to JK posting photos wearing clothing from the fashion brand Graffiti On Mind a brand under a company established by his brother, John Jung Hyun, a company where Jung, J- Jung Kook was serving as the company's in-house director, but resigned from the position following the controversy. That sucks. An official from the Fair Trade Commission has since responded saying, given the information that was revealed, it's hard to tell that Jung Kook's actions are backdoor advertisements. Wow. The most important aspect of a backdoor advertisement is whether or not he tricked his fans. However, he did not mention the brand at all. Therefore, it's difficult to be acknowledged as deceiving his fans. It's, it's, so it's not. What? Yeah, basically it's facts not. Facts are facts. In addition, the FTC official stated, just simply wearing a brand of clothes does not violate any fair trade criterion about backdoor advertisement. Like we said, are y'all watching yep. the stream? This is seen as yet another example of how, JK in particular, if often needlessly attacked for simplifying living, Mm. In comparison, after attending the FAC Music Awards, all three outfits and accessories the band made the bandmate V War sold out within hours. Woo! However, JK drinks lemon flavored kombucha on a V Live, and it sells out. He is accused of creating an unfair free market. Wow! Stop picking on my man. First of all, yeah, y'all are being real selective on who you want to, you know, get on and get off. Second of all, again, at the end of the day, this is that BS. This is this that's just fandom. I am supporting my brother by wearing the shirt and not even telling you what it is, and y'all are mad that I'm y'all, y'all are mad that I'm not on the payroll. What? Like I don't what? Y'all are mad that I'm not on the payroll and that I'm not selling my soul to some company, Gucci Prada, whatever. Look at this new Gucci suit. I just literally came up and you see 
a, a cue and I you're had, like, what's I that? I clothes. And y'all are I mad. literally just that's, got a regular clothes. That's where it is for me. I'm like, you literally took a picture just wearing clothes and people came after you. Mad. Like, why are you mad? Mad. Leave alone. This is dumb. Are you gonna have to my my thing. Okay, so again, devil's advocate. What if what if the people or the people who are against J.K. get it their way? What exactly do you want from this? Do you want to? What like, are you? Oh, what are you actually like, getting? Right, right. Out of I, I'm sorry for wearing my brother's clothing. I didn't mean to not tell you guys that it's my brother's clothing. But since you want to know, it's my brother's clothing line. Either way, the job is being done. So what's the issue here? But y'all know it's like BTS and then fandom. Y'all so, know it's fandom. Like anything they do, they their fans are gonna do it, which is. But it's like, it's why are you supporting the ahead. other bandmates, but oh, you shit. picking on one person? Like, that's why it's weird. Because anyway. it's like, why? It's like, why is he getting attacked for just being a person? Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah uh, Mystically, and that brings up uh, before <laughs> the, the, the V Live when he was drinking some wine and he was eating an apple uh-huh. at night. He was getting flat for that, saying that, oh, he's going to inspire for people to eat apples at night, which is the bad for their health. The fuck is the pro? Why? How is that bad for their health? And an apple a day, you know? But again, though. But it's at night, and sugar at night is bad, even natural sugar. But here's my fuck thing, though, here. Here. What? What? Why do we have time to, to, to get on influencers for being influential? Like, stop it. Like a little bowl of ice cream. I heard that from a, a doctor. You what are we doing? What are we doing? It's that he's a he's an influencer. He's a big influencer. Uh, all on, the on accident. Yeah. On accident. Yeah. But... Yeah. He's just influential and you mad that like literally every step he takes someone's staring like that like you seem salty insecure like stop wasting our time for your insecurities. <laughs> All of y'all. So, Next topic. I'm not doing this It's a personal time. problem Get that you f- need to fix. Nobody else does. Out of here. Stop picking on me. Trash. Who's next? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Pandora blows open. Woo. In 2016, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists conducted an investigation that exposed a system that enabled crime, corruption, and wrongdoing hidden by secretive offshore companies by leaking more than 11.5 million financial and legal records. It identified five then heads of state or government leaders from Argentina, Iceland, Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, and the United Arab Emirates, as well as government officials close relatives and close associates of various heads of government of more than 40 other countries, igniting protests in several countries, forcing two world they leaders from power. on purpose. <laughs> the documents that detailed financial and attorney client information for more than 214,488 offshore enti- enti- entities, oh. some dating back to the 1970s, were created by and taken from former Panamanian Offshore. Offshore law firm and corporate service provider, Moza, I'm going to murder this, Mozart Fonseca. You got it. He- sure. Hence the name Panama uh, Papers. Now, five years later, the ICIJ have leaked their newest finding in the Pandora Papers, 11.9 million leaked documents with Damn. 2.9 terabytes of data that started going up on October 3rd, 2021. Mm. They teamed up with 91 media outlets in 117 countries and exposed the secret offshore accounts of 35 world leaders, including current and former presidents, prime ministers, and heads of state, as well as more than 100 billionaires, celebrities, whoa, I almost messed that up, (laughs) and business leaders ranging from stashes of U.S. $5.6 trillion to $32 trillion U.S. dollars on all six inhabitable continents. Among those names are former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, mm. Chilean President Sebastian Piñera, uh, Kenyan President Uruhu, yeah, Kenyatta, <laughs> Mo- Montenegrin uh, President Mil- Milo Dukanovic, sure, Ukrainian President <laughs> Volodymyr Zelensky, Zelensky, Qatari Emir Temim Bin Hamad. <laughs> You got it, you got it. You got it, you got it. Prime Minister in Dubai ruler Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Gabonese, President Ali Bo. I'm glad you didn't get that. Oh no, because I was like, Nick, y'all can go read it. You're like, Jelly, I fucking hate you. No, I would have not. I'm not reading out these names. Lebanese Prime Minister Najib Mikati, Ecuadorian.
Colombian President Guillermo Lasso, family members of former Argentine President Mauricio Jesus Macri, Christ. and his spin doctor, Ecuadorian <laughs> Jaime and his spin Duran Barba Cipriot. Cipriot? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, President Nikos Anastasiades, uh, Shakira, yes, that Shakira who was incorporating secret, 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 new secret. offshore entities while going on trial for tax evasion. Oh. Model, Claudia Sh Schiffer? 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 Alexandre Cases, the founder of the dark yes. website Alphabet, used to deal with illegal drugs and many, many yes. more names of people that range from music artists, politicians, athletes, yes. and financial advisors. Right, Naturally, so. denials of any wrongdoings have been pouring from PR teams of the accused all week. Just want to say, did not receive any of that. I got you. Did not process. So first things Just first, <laughs> shout out to Alexandre Cazes. If you guys don't know what the dark web is, do you? it's too late, but <laughs> this, yeah, this, this man, I'm gonna just say shout outs to that. Um, oh. Peace out, oh, peace out. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, um, that's first of all. Yeah. Second of all, um, so what basically is happening is that everyone's heard of offshore accounts. We've heard of like, like Switzerland, Swiss bank accounts. Basically yes. what happens is you take all your big money, you put it offshore because mm -hmm. US taxes are stupid. If you have a million dollars, your tax is like half a million. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't get to keep your money yearly because the tax is stupid. So what everyone does is they get an offshore account somewhere in France and one of these countries. The issue with this is just like we've been having the, um, <laughs> when the pandemic started, Pizzagate, all, everybody with the ankle monitors, all, all these people coming out as pedophiles and whatnot, the same thing has been happening, but now it's financial. Case in point, remember when COVID started, everything from time travel, conspiracy theory, yes. aliens, is now on the CIA website. You can go to CIA.gov and look at oh, all of it. Oh, yes, I just every did that recently because of that person that told me about it. Yeah, Ever since March of 2019, mm -hmm. everything on the CIA website is official. If it's not redacted, they're like, oh, we literally have traveled through time between World War One and World War II. I read it myself, like you can do it. So since everything is now coming to light, now we got to handle the finances. And they're doing this because the less financial barriers there are, the easier it is to make a one world currency. We can talk about it all day. Bottom line is they're breaking down everything. Everything. If you know about Panama, the Panama Canal was fought over four years so we could have that little structure between North and South America. Like the little tip between North mm -hmm. America and South America, the Panama Canal is right here. If you, unless you control the Panama Canal, you have to go around the US or around South America to get to the other side of the world. So the Panama Canal has always been like under some sort of fight, some sort of situation. Yeah. And all of these countries that they've named, all of these countries are big oil countries. Oil, if you remember in the beginning of COVID, went from $300 a gallon to 25 cents a barrel. Like, again, don't ignore what's happening right now, people. Don't ignore it. Offshore accounts are now being like literally disbanded. Don't ignore what's happening. Please don't. Even if you don't understand what's happening, realize that now it means that if you're a trillionaire tomorrow, you can't just go to Switzerland and be like, keep my money so I don't got to pay taxes. They're now making it where everything is being caught. Everything is being sanctioned. Cryptocurrency is the best common way to keep your money where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But now that it's commonplace, it's only a matter of time before the government gets their hands on it. So yep. that yeah. being said, this is showing y'all, even if y'all don't understand what's been happening since 9-11, if you don't understand, right now your finances are changing. Your currency is changing. Yep. The way you pay for things is changing. The fact that you pay for it at all is changing. Mm -hmm. Money never meant anything, but now they're throwing it in your face that it's useless. Yep. Mm -hmm. Please pay attention. Yeah. Yep. Please. And also, how is it that they did not mention not one United States? I was yeah. Saying. Okay. So, I fuck with you, bro. So, I was just about to say that. Not one. So that's the that's not even the one. kicker is that a lot of a lot of like these people here. People, rich people in America can't don't even touch them. They they don't even touch them. This is like these people here are way like how we look at like you know uh, Bezos yes. and, and and them up there. Yes. They don't hold a candle to the influence that these motherfuckers have Big here. Oil, like, and their, and their, their offshore accounts mean that they're here. They're buying real estate here. They're getting accounts here because we're their offshore. Because mm. they're there. So that's that's probably why. Different. And it's, it's so different, bro. Uh, I'm trying to tell you. Again. But it's still on all seven continents. So there are some people here that they, 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 these are just like didn't, they just didn't make the list here because these are presidents. 
and my thing and Shakira and Mama. right and Shakira <laughs> and, like, and, and again again if you guys and, and this is for people out there where you, if you want to go back and watch this and whatever don't even you don't even have to look up the people's names per se just look up the countries and look up the the, the history of that country Ecuador Argentina. Dubai, Lebanon. Lebanon. What do we? Cyprus. The with the Cyprus. That's that's Greece. Montenegro. Montenegro. The Chile. Ukraine, bro. I'm telling Kenya. I'm telling you, bro. Chile. These places all Qatar. had terrible situations before they were colonized. And I don't mean like thanks to the UK. I mean like before, like they started doing big money stuff. It was rough. And in order to get to this big money stuff, Hotel Rwanda, rough, rough, apartheid, rough. So the fact that now all that money that they put into these things is now being swept from underneath the rug, please don't, I'm telling you y'all, pay attention. Pay yeah, attention. I mean, the fact that there are people who have $32 trillion stashed away somewhere. Pay attention. That's correct. These are the people who are making the laws that you, I'm telling you, pay attention. That's correct. These are the people who are dropping $2 million in some in some politicians account like bling, so you don't want that law fixed. Well, what do you mean $2 billion? What did I just say? You're right. That's how it works. Don't get it twisted. We would. Don't get it twisted. Money, money moves. If, poli if, if senators and politicians in Capitol Hill can make their own, they make their own salaries. That's the thing. People don't know that. When they mm -hmm. wake up, they, when, when the quarterly thing comes, they ask, what do you want to make next year? I want to make 200K like this month. So like, okay, so by the end of the year, you're going to make 2.5 million? Cool. They do it. They take it out by taxes. They take it out whatever, but they make their own budgets. So if you're like, oh, okay, my budget's 2 million. How would you like your budget to be 7 billion this year? <laughs> Oh, that's nothing. That's that's one oil refinery for me. It's yours. Boom, well, easy. But in return, I want to be able to move when I move, do what I do, stash where I stash, and no one should know. For seven billion, people are gonna be quiet. They're yeah. gonna be quiet. And who knows how that affects the rest of us? But this one guy paid that, and here it is. We think it's oh, it's gonna be Bezos, and no, 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 no. It's gonna be someone who controls the water you drink. Think about it. Think about it. Wow. Next topic. <laughs> Conspiracy. Brother number three over here. All right, yeah. Vivica Fox claps back. Woo! I was waiting for this. Last week, your mama's favorite pastime, sadly, R. Kelly, mm, was found guilty of all nine charges by a New York, because it's New York, I told you that bad sex and New York they don't like it. Yeah. New York jury in a federal sex trafficking trial. The charges included eight counts of sex trafficking, one count of racketeering. It should have been, yeah, racketeering Who? is huge. Okay, so did his people get locked up too that was helping him? Because they should have got locked up too. Shit. Well, I, feel like they're gonna, I feel like they're going to get Kelly first and they're going to have Kelly okay, just roll on people little by little. Oh, of course. Um, following his conviction, alleged reports from a disclosed source claim that R. Kelly, who faces the possibility of life in prison, is providing names of other celebrity pedophiles to the authorities in hopes to reduce his time. Yeah, bitch. Yes. Despite the allegations, no other additional information was provided. But we know how to get our receipts. We know what it is. On the Fox Soul Show, Cocktails with Queens, co-hosts Vivica Fox, Claudia Jordan, Lisa Ray McCoy, and Selena Johnson talked mm. about the claim of him doing this, where Fox called the 54-year-old a snitch. Uh, Ooh. Uh, she said, he's a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Ain't that what it says? It's a sad end of the chapter. Like, wow, here we go. You get convicted last week and now this week. I'm telling. I'm telling. There's a whole lot of people I'm going to take down too. Instead of asking for help or maybe trying to help others from where you are, from your experience, now you're going to snitch. Fox started mm -hmm. to receive flack from her snitch remarks on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, as she yeah, should. Yeah, that's, that's dumb as shit. You sound, you sound just as bad. Yeah, you sound rapey as fuck, too. Yeah, you sound mm -hmm. just you sound like you sit with him. Exactly. Like you scared of something. A user, yes. at, a user at her and wrote, a user at, I guess, added her, at her and wrote, let's talk about how you were around R. Kelly when a lot of this was going Woo! down. I guess you said you wouldn't snitch and now you're calling him a snitch because he wants to out the other pedophiles? I figure street code wouldn't matter in this case. You, you scared. scared. Right? You That's scared. what I mean. I'm like, shoot. Have we talking about a pedophilia here? Why? Pe people that touch on kids, kids and young girls, like kids. children. Kids. That touch on children. I don't know. But you start, you call him a snitch. Who? So you okay with these pedophiles walking around? Who? Yeah. All right. What? She clapped back with, look here, asshole. I had no idea he was abusing young women. I'm a stand up woman. So don't you dare bring your bitch ass over here and call me a, and call me a coward. Now what? 
Then the user accused her of being close to R. Kelly, causing her response of "Stop lying on me, cloud chasing ass bitch." Uh. <laughs> I was I was asked to present an award to him years ago, and that was it. What the hell you doing with your life besides hiding behind Twitter fingers? I'll wait. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, 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 ah. Many people who viewed the Twitter situation go down with Fox seemed impressed. Sending her a message of encouragement. Now y'all know Mrs. Fox, not the one. She said, two can play that game, sweetie. Don't play with her. Y'all know Auntie Aloha. Y'all better chill. The husband place, you're not going to do that. LMAO, she said, ah, 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 leave me out of it. Ah, 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 you brought you it up. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm going to say. First, I mean, it was probably, it was a segment in, the, in their talk show. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I understand what Vivica's trying to express. It, he is not 6'9". Quit playing. That's two different totally things. Two different situations here. Go ahead. Okay. That's my bad. I understand. Oh, it's a yeah. It's a I understand what Vivica is trying to express in the sense of like, oh, so you're going to do it with these boys, but then you're going to rules on the boys you did it with. I get that. If y'all all ran in together, y'all all, you know what I'm saying? You, If you're going to take it, you should take it. Not like snitch on your niggas because all y'all niggas is guilty. I get what she's trying to say in the sense of if y'all going to be foul, you know what I'm saying, then someone in the street code, someone has to take the brunt in a sense. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But again, I don't think you're correct, Vivica, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, on the, on, on the safe side of things, he needs to snitch. One, because um, they did it for you. So if they did it for you, then what's going to stop them to do it for somebody else? Two, because at the end of the day, of course, yeah, you may have touched these girls to ruin their life, but someone held them in the room. Someone got them to write that, that NDA. Someone drove them there. Someone drove them out. Someone sat outside those Chicago schools and got those little girls, because I've heard the stories. Someone did, and it wasn't Kelly because he would have been seen. You know what I'm saying? He may have been in the back seat, but who was driving? Who was rolling the blunts for him? Y'all all admissible. So again, like, yeah, like I give what you're trying to say. R. Kelly, if you did it, you should take the brunt, but all these Negroes is guilty too, and they all need to go down as well. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that you were right next to R. Kelly in 93, and I walked down the street and like, yo, Bugs? That's Bugs? When you with R. Kelly? Yo, bro, yo, don't let your kids run this. I shouldn't have to do that. He should be in jail. Bottom line. Also, on top of that, for me, I'm just like, but he a pedophile. Like, Straight up. He, he literally, like, was sneaky and was manipulative and all this stuff. So what would you expect from him Man. as to not, like, it would, It only makes sense that he would bring other people down with him because he don't want to take the hit by himself. Like, right. Don't be surprised just, if he ends up dead. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I just wish, sure. you know, it, it, you think it was only me because, that was involved I'm with this like, shit? And at the same time, when I thing. tell you like people in jail don't like he that really shit because it. of course they got kids that they can't see and you yeah. out here doing other kids like that, they might have to I've seen documentaries of people who were in jail for pedophilia. Same. Another pedophile comes in and they beat their ass. Because she was like, I got my ass beat when I got here. I'm so like, I'm going to be right, and I'm I'm beat whatever you. pedophile comes in. Yeah, I'm in here for pedophilia. And I'm going to fuck up anybody who comes in here for pedophilia. Because what I did was fucked up. And what they do was fucked up. Exactly. Right. It, it, it so, doesn't it's justify. It's the worst thing you can do in prison. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yes. Anything against children or women, they got to yes. get They going to get you. Yes. 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 yes, you going to get your. Yeah, definitely children. Definitely children. Definitely you children, are not man. walk Like, you need bodyguards. So you're going to be mad if an axe murderer goes to jail and like it's like, oh, guess what? There's a whole consortium of, of other murderers no you're gonna be happy right because now the streets are clean yeah I mean, the fuck is wrong exactly. with you yeah so why are you arguing against it like, like why? stitches get stitches he getting stitches in it don't matter so might as well this whole candy to go with that shit man he can like, get fucked up with you that's how that goes but Straight honestly up. i mean that that's the shit that the cops do i mean i am i'm watching I mean, it's a TV show, but I'm watching Chicago PD or whatever. Hey, and it, like, it shows a lot of that, you know, a lot of like CIs, you know, coming in and helping out because one, either they want to do better or, you know, they just, they want to be able to do what they want to do without like hurting too many people, but also like getting the shit off the streets. So I'm not mad at R. Kelly getting the shit off the streets. It's the least that, you can do. Exactly. It's the that least you can do. All the pain that, that you was caused awesome. others. Like, it, yes, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't give a fuck what happens to you, but I mean, if you mm -hmm. get some people off the shit, like, yes, yes, yes. Gladly appreciate it. 
doesn't, you know, doesn't justify what you did, but, yeah. it, you know, it helps. That was my concern, because I'm like, there's, a, like, like he was saying, there's people driving, there's people getting these girls, there's mm-hmm. people watching him while he in the studio. So that's why I'm like, nah, like, whoever was with him, with my mans, mm-hmm. they need to get locked the fuck up, too, because y'all, y'all helped. Exactly. And, y'all, y'all, was he and, to? and y'all did it, too. Ooh, it's not even that. just that, either. Hey. It's, because he's saying other celebrities, so it's not even just people that helped him. Oh, it's we know. other oh, celebrities. Oh, we know. So there are definitely there are girls that he said no to that had to go to somebody else. Yes. So, no. that I am very happy about this because fuck the Pizzagate. Fuck Rock Harvey Weinstein. Fuck all this yes, shit. Yes, and all of them like, got to go to jail, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Every yes. executive at RCA. Anybody yeah. who hit it. Anybody they who They all knew, knew what it yes. was. We all knew what it was. We, everybody, yeah, knew. Yeah. everybody knew. Everybody knew. It was just when Aaliyah. When Aaliyah happened. Uh, everybody, everybody, everybody knew. Everybody knew. knew. Everybody, knew. everybody, knew. but we are the generation that's like, nah, nah. we're not having this shit. No. Because when we saw it, we was like, so what's up? Y'all what? really okay with this nigga? And our parents was like, well, how some old people, is our parents episode? was like, really yeah. okay. Yeah. Like the person, the per, the person I think who worked for Aaliyah, right. or I don't know, worked I mean, for one of them the that straight up said like, yeah, I watched him go down on Aaliyah, but the why? Man, the manager. Yeah, I didn't. It's know like, why was you in the room, like, bro? Yeah, oh, five. exactly. What? Oh, five. While she was underage and everything, like oh, saw it happen. Oh, five. So Damn. it's just like, Damn. Damn, took that long. What? What what part but like that how did that years ago before that even came? No, oh yeah, sure. but it's like the we fact the boondocks. But it's like, like the, the fact that they made a cartoon about it about in two thousand and five. Oh, and they still even <laughs> still they, if, even still in the cartoon they managed to have the girl be like. If I didn't want him to pee on me, I would have just no, put out the no. Way. That's what she said in the courtroom. Yeah. When the, yes, that's yeah, exactly I what know. she said. That's what I'm saying. Like y'all, they ain't shit changed. That's what that that's what's trying to show you. To where they're just like, oh, these fast girls, they're children. They don't children. know any yeah. better. Yeah. Like Kelly, so bitch. But yeah, they don't who's know any better. Who she learned that from? Who are your parents? Mm-hmm. That part. Like, mm-hmm. what did they teach you values? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Shot, he said. Like, that's why she was in there in the first place. Yeah, I'm like, why were they? Why get did they have access to you? Like, get that record deal, honey. Go ahead. Whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. No, just yeah, that's that. No. Her, her thing. That's that old school shit. It's like the the you, y'all seen the Michelle story? Nah, no. Yes, I've heard I of Michelle. Think I have. She was like one of Dr. Dre's first wives, mm-hmm. who he just like relentlessly physically abused yeah. Yeah. and mentally abused but that was her whole story was her grandma was like nah you better take stay, that shit yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. the whole story was like nah I like, didn't know about, you need this record deal her, you need to get this about. money like whatever he does like look this is what we got to do this, this, this is what we all this is what we always have done see this is like yeah. generational trauma yeah this is right I, just I, like I hate to, to, to beat me yeah, I, I, I hate, hate to bring him up but this is what happened in one of Tyler Perry's movies where mm-hmm. the, Oh yes. The, 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 like, yeah, I hate to bring him up. Yeah. yeah. Where she was, she was yeah. getting beat. Yeah. 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 And her mom and her she went to her mom, she's like, he beat me. With him. What what did you do to make him mad? Exactly. Ugh. Like you need to like, like you better keep, stay keep him happy. happy. It's like what? Yeah, he's got the money, keep him happy. Ugh. That's like, slave ass fuck? mentality. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what oh it is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, so and that her shit is Snitches gets it. Don't nobody say that bullshit. What trauma man. did you come from? Like, what What did you do? Like, they, they, it just, yeah. She's complicit. You guilty. You guilty. Ooh. Facts. Yeah. You guilty. There's a right, because it really just seems like... I'm like, are, is your name going to get dropped? That's what it is. Is your name going to get dropped? Because he wasn't, because, I mean, the, forget all the, I gave him an award once because they asked me to, because he didn't say, oh, I'm snitching on my friends. He said, I'm snitching on celebrities that are now pedophiles. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like, so why is why you so pedophile? worried? Right. It's so a why you why? mad about yes. him snitching on pedophiles? You question mark. You're a woman. You get. You bring life into this world. Mm. How the fuck are you okay with people who take the innocence of children? How the fuck are you okay with that? The one meme. It don't make no oh, fucking the- sense. You literally bring <laughs> life into this world. I don't understand how you can be a woman and f- f- don't see anything wrong with it. Right. Mm. You, see the, you see the act of mom? snitching. I don't know. But I don't you know. You see the act of snitching but... as worse than pedophilia. Like, where? Right, that's what I'm saying. Wait, uh, what, bitch? What? You got me all the way fucked up. 
And but also as a community, we just got to get over that shit. That shit is weak. That shit is fun. old. That shit is tired. Right. It just gives it. Nah, that, it, it is, is weak. toxic. It's it's supposed to so let him out. Nah, he killed homeboy up the street over some girl. Nah, lock his ass up. He yeah, should need to control his fucking temper. Put him in mental. We are mental in the health. accountability era right now. Come on now. So be accountable. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> real, real shit. <laughs> Cause here's the thing. Here's, here's the best part about it. Here's the best part about it. It's 2021, and we're all like 20s, upper 20s. You know what I'm saying? When we in our 40s and 50s, and these kids done grown up, I can't wait to see what accountability culture. Woo! I can't wait, yo. Oh, so if you think it's bad now, you better just yeah, you better unearth you, you the dirt now. Shit, unearth the dirt now. Anyway, but shit, man, they got cameras everywhere, yo. So everywhere. CCTV about to come in full and effect. People, and people are here. are not not that afraid no more because now they understand that they have the bat like the support they have the mm -hmm. support now there are people that have been supported who lied about getting raped and shit so it's like like there's the support now mm. it's you know that whole me too movement like that mm. shit was i mean it's still happening but like that you can't you can't get away with shit no more you just you can't just don't even do it to yourself don't Mm. Don't fat fat to shit. Don't, don't you? Yeah. Real talk. Don't. Yo, they got robots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, got... they they literally have sex robots. Yeah. Literally have sex robots. Yo. We're in a new age. Come on, like you yeah. have the resources. Make it convenient for you. <laughs> Make it easy for you. Don't. <laughs> we need more AI. <laughs> Big facts though. <All> right. <laughs> don't be a bitch. <laughs> All right, what, what else we got? What else we got on the list? Uh, final topic. Who wants to do it? Hope for Orlando. Oh, it's, it's on you? It's not, but I'll, I'll do it. Uh, Hope for Orlando. If you are... If you're a millennial... I'm going to slow clap because I know this is coming. If you're a millennial and watch Disney Channel, <laughs> you are... <laughs> what? I'm so confused. If you're a millennial, millennial and watch Disney Channel, so you are for sure... We'll remember it. That's so Ra That's so Raven, a show where Raven Simone plays a teenage psychic who aspires to be famous fashion designer. In her trio group was a child star, oh, Orlando oh, Brown. No. Oh. It's not Orlando, Florida. It's Orlando Brown. Wait, Orlando Brown. 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 Yeah. I was talking about this the other day. <laughs> it was sad news when hearing about his struggle, and um, as we all got older, in 2018, he, he appeared on the Dr. Phil show. And said he was doing marijuana and crystal meth and was also addicted to alcohol. He said he turned to drugs because he was in the dark, in a dark place because I couldn't really find everybody. Pause the game. Now here's the, here's the rub. In ten years, when they allow him to really truly speak on what happened to him as a child star, that's when y'all gonna be fucked up in the game. This man went through a lot. Mm -hmm. Trust me. This man crossed paths with Will Smith in private. Mm -hmm. This man went through a lot. Trust me. And I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave that right the fuck there. On October 7th, he dropped a nearly eight minute music video called Smile On Me. Aww. In the video, he stumbles into a grocery store, clearly troubled. When the store clerk comes along and kicks him out, he then hears gospel music coming from a church and walks in to find his wife on stage, bent over as, as she was praying, uh, as if she was praying. She instantly smiles when he when she sees him walk in, that's when he officially begins rapping about his struggles with drugs and his journey with deciding to follow Christ. Not only is his wife featured in the music video, but also the son that he shares with her. Many fans are now learning for the first time that Brown beat his drug addiction. Even though the video dropped recently, he has been clean for over a year. Aww. Oh yeah, so the first time I saw that he was like clean somebody saw him in a grocery store and posted a picture that hey i i, I, I ran into Linda brown he's actually doing well i was like mm. yeah. yeah then that was like months ago like almost a year ago and just now hearing this is this is great sound clip you rapping in tongues mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh that's um oh, the addiction uh, that part, that part, that part. All of them struggle with addiction, so he was talking at a Hello, thing. everybody. That was um, awesome. You may know me from a little show back in the day. You called That's Right, That's Oriana. And, uh, you know, I went through a lot. You know, I experimented with crystal meth, uh, uh, with weed. And I didn't know what I was doing. I had an addiction to the internet, all kinds of stuff, you know. But um, my fiance told me about this place, and when I when I came, it was amazing. Yo, I had, I had a blast. The girls accepted me for who I am. And, um, 
Yo, man, I, I mean, I got a whole team of brothers now. The church is lovely. You know, um, all I can tell y'all is all the leaders are brilliant. The geniuses and the men of God. Um, and, and they're raising us all up in, in, in the way to be the same. You know what I mean? Oh, that's awesome. There we go. Yes. Very, very happy for him. Proud to see it. As a conspiracy theorist, um, I'm not going to say we know what happened to him, but um, take Macaulay Culkin's life. Take any child star's life that you're not really sure of, and Orlando Brown, he falls right into that category. Amanda Bond. Yep, they yeah. fall into that. They fall into that. Shoot, even Ariana Grande. They fall into that Ariana Grande, she, she did kind of sort of talk about it, especially with the whole... Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider. Yeah. yeah. Dan, I'm telling you, y'all, again, like like I said Sam before... Sam McCurdy was like, Let me cover my I'm feet. not going to talk about it. I'm just not getting in it. Don't, please, please don't have the wool pulled over your eyes, y'all. We live in a world where deception is is the currency. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Whether you realize it or not, people feed each other bullshit and that's how they win. So that being said, when some people just don't know how to speak out, some people don't know that they can speak out, some people like Britney Spears are in a place where they're on contract yeah. and they can't speak out. But understand, I think as things shift in the world that we live in, accountability culture, um, you know, saying the finances, uh, the sustains, whatever it is, like understand that like everyone has a journey to go through, yo. Everyone has a journey and we have to give each other the grace, the time, and also the education to see ourselves through it. If we don't, then we'll just judge each other for the BS. We'll just act like you're not on this level and you should be at this level. We'll act like it's okay to be a possessive, obsessive 10 year olds. You know what I'm saying? It's not the way the world works but it's what we feed each other. Mm. So feed each other's flames. Edify your friends and your people and your family. We can make this world a better place, but it takes effort. It takes energy. Mm-hmm. And it starts at home. That part. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of it starts at home. All of it starts at home. Sheesh. Man. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Woo. Okay. Recurring. Okay. That was, okay. a, that was a nice conclusion right there. I, I didn't even yeah, mean, for, I, I just came out. <laughs> That's it. All right. Oh, then we got time for Shark Tank. All right, thank so y'all for having me. Before we sign off, one more time, you guys, the topics for the day is Korea on drugs, Kim Kardashian on SNL, the fall of U.S. Entertainment Awards, music, uh, new sums, new bills, <laughs> fan stands and empty bank accounts, Jungkook update, Pandora blows open, Vivica Fox claps back, and last but she not tried. least, she yeah, tried. right, she tried. It was <laughs> failed. <for> Orlando. <laughs> yes, but um, now we are we opening up for the Shark Tank? I don't. I, don't I love mean, I'm good on the Shark. I feel like yeah, we, I'm we good on the Shark Tank. Okay. My cousin, I never met. Oh, I, sorry. I, 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 by just different. Um, I mean, I'm I'm cool, but it's up to y'all. How y'all feeling? I don't know. It's just, are we not going? I, Oh, Wait, go on what? What are you talking about? Oh, oh no, there's no session tonight. I forgot. Ah, Bliss is his speaker's being repaired, so no session. But yeah. But yeah, so. The Thank current. you, Tone, for mm-hmm. taking the time. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Thank you for being here. Yes. Oh, we're trying to get more people out here. Let me hang in there. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, did I? I went for a high five. Oh, ah! come on. I, I apologize. My bad, y'all. That's, that's on me. That's so disrespectful. And take two. Action. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's the tone for coming through. Uh, actually, tone. Be <laughs> before we go, let people know where they can find you, what you do, who you are. You know, what I'm saying so they can look you up and make yeah, stuff happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm tone twisted. I'm an artist, manager, model. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you can find me at tone twisted. And um, yeah, my label is Amexum Worldwide. You can find us at amexumworldwide.com. Yeah, look up nice. for dope shit from music from all across the world. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. go. Okay. Hell yeah. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of Tone when um, Big Hit comes out here in 2022. You know, when BTS yes. makes it to LA. Oh you know, we're going to make some things happen, y'all. So you see these faces. You see all these glasses. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm we'll make it happen. Happen. Yeah. This is what we do. Right. Education, right? No, okay. Um, y'all be blessed. Until the next time, peace, Bye. love, happiness. Wash your hands. Please. See you next week. You should have been soap. doing that. You should have been doing that.